Proverbs 11, 24, the same as in Bible. Now, let's go, let's go, let's read this one. The world of the generals get larger and larger. The world of the stingy gets smaller and smaller. NLT. Let's go. Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. It says one person gives freely and they become wealthy. This particular test doesn't make sense. Tell somebody it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Give me some bottles of water for illustration. This test doesn't make sense. But it is a spiritual test. Check, check this. It says the one who gives freely. So he has this hope. He has this. And the Bible says the one who gives, give, give to him freely will become more wealthy. But the more he's giving, he's becoming empty. Physical, it doesn't make sense. I come to show the revelation. Give up to him. The Bible says, the one who gives freely will be wealthy. So give freely. Because he gave freely, his hands are opened. So I am God. I'll be giving him more. So the more he's giving, then I am giving him more. So the more you are a giver, then the Lord will be giving you more. Now let me show you a secret. Now, but the stingy person cannot make money. But the issue is that is the stingy person who's supposed to be rich. Because mind you, right now let's say he's stingy. So because you are stingy, be like this. If he's stingy, he's supposed to keep it. Because if, if you are stingy, it means you are not giving it to him. So, um, be like, you are asking him that, uh, give me some. Uh-huh. Yes. So, he's supposed to have more. But God says, but the one who is stingy will not have more. Do you know the reason? So, protect it like. Because he has protected it. When God wants to give him, there is no hand to receive. So, it will fall down. So, those who don't give, they don't have. Because their hands are not open. <laughs> 